So we need to write out the first eight terms of this series to show how it starts. And we also need to find the sum of this series if it converges. Well, let's start by unfolding the series. So we know that n starts at 2. Then the first a term would be 1 over 4 squared. Next term is 1 over 4 cubed. Then we have 1 over 4 to the 4th power plus 1 over 4 to the 5th power plus 1 over 4 to the 6th power plus 1 over 4 to the 7th power plus 1 over 4 to the 8th power plus 1 over 4 to the 9th power. These are the first, the first 8 entries of this series and then so on. Uh, if you look at these entries, for instance, let's look at entry a1. So a1 equals 1 over 4 squared. And a2 equals 1 over 4 cubed. a3 equals 1 over 4 to the 4th power. If you find the ratio um, of uh, between a2 and 1, you will get that a2 over a1 equals... 1 over 4 cubed over 1 over 4 squared and obviously this equals 1 over 4. Then uh, let's find the ratio between a3 and a2. This equals 1 over 4 to the 4th power over 1 over 4 to the 3rd power. Again this equals 1 over 4. So as you can see uh, the ratio is the same, so that means that our series has a common ratio. So the series is geometric, and this common ratio equals 1 over 4. Since this is infinite geometric series, we can use the formula of the sum of infinite geometric series to find its sum. So the formula states that the sum equals a over 1 minus r, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. Here the first term is 1 over 4 squared and uh, common ratio is 1 over 4. Then we get that this equals 1 over 16 times uh, 4 over 3 and then this equals 1 over 12. So the sum of the given series, the sum of the given series equals 